Alright. I should be able to annex the Mongol Khanate pretty soon. Good. I'm free to declare war whenever. I'm still building my army, though. That's... No, why do I have friggin' uh, army maintenance raised? <laughs> it's... Like hell, I'm gonna need it. stuff earn a little money. Recruiting will be done in less than a month now. I'm actually prepped to go to war. Alright. Pride has a disputed succession. Yeah, claim I throne, can't. Claim throne, claim throne, claim throne. It doesn't work now. You can't. Oh. You have to be the same dynasty. Oh. Ah. Stupid Von Habsburgs. <laughs> uh... Hey, Pratt, want a royal marriage? <laughs> sure. You're actually a lot safer than you used to be, Brad. You, like, people can't force PUs on you unless uh, they're the same dynasty. So the, the general story is just make sure you're not the same dynasty if you're going to royally marry someone. <laughs> Brad, I don't even have boats. <laughs> How am I going to get to you? And you don't even have royal marriage. <laughs> you have the boats. I have boats. You have the boats. I have the boats. I have all of the boats. Every single one. <laughs> Sadly, my tra 100 tradition general got fire 5, shock mm -hmm. 2, and maneuver 5. Or maneuver 4. He does have siege 3, though. My starting general got fire 2, shock 5, maneuver 5, siege 0. It's not too bad. Yeah, if he didn't, if he had a siege value, he'd be god. But. Siege five, you cannot get. I have tried. It's <laughs> like siege five. The I think the only person who has that's fucking Napoleon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey kid. What? You ready to gangbang some Chinese? Soon, TM. This so I got a pretty effective battle strategy. 11, 12. Alright, 19. That should be my staging point, maybe. Ooh, and there's a river crossing. Why don't I basically just sit here, That's... waiting? Well, you played Japan. This is what you get. I hey. hope you're annexing date. Not. Because they just got massive. I wish I was. <laughs> yeah, Bride could finally get a date. You know, I should probably work on. I should probably start anything today, though. Fucking six inflation now. Monetary reforms. Won't I, like, die if I do, though? And since they're so big? No. You get cores on everything. Like, instantly. If you annex a vassal, you get cores. Dim's how it works. You don't wanna... The uh, admin power should be enough to just totally blow on uh, fucking stability to repair after this. I hope. I should probably do something about my stability. Yeah, you want to have a stability of at least plus one because it doesn't cost you any extra. Assuming you have no modifiers, it's just 100 points. Which ain't bad. Uh, after that, it starts to you know, get steep with 150, then 200. Where do you go to fix stability? Uh, stability and expansion. <laughs> it's the crown and the rebel flag. There. It's... Yeah. It'll take you a while to figure out the interface. Don't worry about it. Yeah. 
Hmm. Oh, God Stupid damn it. Sunni provinces. <sighs> what? Sunni, Sunni provinces. No, no, no. I'm just slightly concerned that rebels appeared and then instantly disappeared. <laughs> it's like religious uprising in Wenshen. And I look over there, the rebels are gone. What? <laughs> and now it's finished converting. So I'm not complaining, it's just, you know. Yeah. Why do you have a single Sunni province? Me? No Me. kidding. And why are the Sunni up there? I don't know. Because Islam. It's. It spread itself across the, uh, which moves its Mongol Empire. Remember? No. Yes. Woohoo. Annexing mm. Mongol. Comet. You ready yet, Gaden? Um. How big of an army do you think I need? Um. Based on my calculations, they're going to be sending at most 23 at you. But probably Shh. only 11. Probably only 11, so I have 13 plus another 8, so that's 21. That'll be enough to hold them out off, even if they send their full force. Alright. Uh, there One is second. a possibility that they'll send everything at me, so that's always good. I just had a pretender rise up. When do you not have pretender risings? <laughs> like, isn't one of your government things, like, plus 10 revolt risk in your provinces or something? I don't know. It's Oh, of yeah, course, it's see. in the Diplomacy, province. The my country rival, Ming. Yeah. Do that before I declare war. Oh, no, I can't. You cannot set your overlord as a rival. <laughs> overlord. <laughs> Damn it, paradox! Stop ruining my fun. Don't worry, they're my rival. <laughs> I'll double rival them just for you. All right. Um, in that case, are we ready? Uh, one second. Just okay. let me deal with this revolt, and then I'll be down. Okay. Yeah, I have a religious unit of twenty-seven percent now, kid. Mm. <laughs> I've got ninety-one. Like, why am I Buddhist? Just because my capital is Buddhist? Probably. Yeah, fucking problem. Right. Scrub. 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 Let's see. What is my religious unity? Hundred. Hundred. Yep. I would be mildly concerned if it wasn't. I <laughs> probably would be concerned too. You know, start hunting people down. This, you start on a Shinto island. It's, yep. It's, now becomes something on Shinto. <laughs> yeah, that would, that, would, that would be a uh, feat in of itself, I will say. You're joking, right? Another pretender. I hear the hordes are lovely this time of year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's causing pretenders? Some, like my dynasty, showing weakness. Quote it's because you're not going to war with people. Five pretender in Alexa. Seriously, you, you want to know right. how to solve this? You go to war with me. <laughs> Alright, one second. Like, I'll deal with this one and then I'm going. Okay. You don't really have time to move yourself into position, just so you know. Like, you're, you're gonna have to be a little out of position. Well, yeah. Alexis is where I'm positioning myself anyway, so. Yeah. And that's where the revolt's at right now. Perfect, then. This guy can kick the bucket. I don't care. Aw, oh, fucking A. What? Well, we're part of the... I'm, I'm now on the same side as Ming. You took too long in a war. Oh, oh my god. god. Yeah, that's... Well, it's, you sit there dealing with pretender revolts all day, wondering where are all these pretender revolts coming from? This is the answer you get. <laughs> it's Manchu attacking, or...? It's... I'm not certain. Uh, Korea is attacking. Oh, it's a clo coalition war. Yeah. 
Oh well, you know what? I can use this time to build trade boats, I guess. What's the Ming fleet anyway? Oh, 50 ships. Lovely. No fucking way I can beat that. How do they have 50 ships? Like, okay, they don't have 50, but... How do they have, like, 40 boats? They have half the coastal provinces I do. Oh, well. I guess this is as good a time as any to start converting. That ought to do it. Oh, right, end of the month. <sighs> well, on the plus side, Ming will have some more exhaustion and shit to deal with after this. <laughs> Bad news is, all their army is going to be up there. And not divided. Watch out, they may vas they may annex you. Me? Yeah, you. They can't. You sure? We're, don't we don't have enough power. This, yeah, I, I'm also too large for them. Mm. Let's see, what's my current relations with Ming? Oh. Yeah, Ming's got me on high enough relations to begin the annexation process, but they haven't started it yet. That's all I know. It informs me when they start, and they can't start it while we're at war. I know that much. I've had to annex a lot of asses. Uh, so Ming just lost. What? Manchu's kicking their ass. Horde OP. Well, Ming's regrouping for another shot, but uh, to say the least, Manchu dealt a severely large blow. How long do you think I have until that war's over? Well, it's currently sitting at negative three. So, quite a while. Yeah. I can't, you know, force out a peace here because Ming's still in the war. Ming's the war leader and is likely never going to surrender. Hmm. If Man Manchu's getting it, is just kicking Ming's ass here and it's not looking good. <laughs> Well, no, never mind. Manchu's decided to make a critical error. Hmm. These losses must have caused some... Oh yeah, they're causing some more exhaustion. I wonder if this will buy me enough time to tech. Nine hundred and sixty power. Extra land morale will be devastating, though, if I can get it. I'm just waiting for this to go really, really badly. What? This entire war of yours. Beating the shit out of Ming. Yep, just waiting. It'll go just fine. And, and hilariously, this is actually going to help us a lot, because Ming's running its army combined together around, and it's just racking up war exhaustion from attrition. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's already up to 1.6. And this war is far from over. Uh... But Ming is going to win out eventually, though, so... Which is fine. But hey, they tank a bunch of war exhaustion. 
And, uh... I would say that their manpower will decrease, but we're talking about <laughs> Ming here. Talking I don't think about the Chinese. I keep killing all the Chinese, but they just keep coming. <laughs> all right. Time for glorious Ming Manchu standoff, it looks like. How moment, drugged just... up is Manchu? Or how good are their troops that I do not realize? <laughs> the moment, I'm okay, the answer is their up. troops are fucking amazing and I don't realize it. <laughs> they're, they're beating Ming out when they're attacking over a river and outnumbered 2-1. to one. And their ideas, like, don't even give them... That's the much, thing. I think. Don't they get Chinese ideas? I think so. Um, I forget. Mm, they get Manchu special ones. They get cheaper mm. land maintenance. Is that? So uh, yeah, Ming's just getting its ass handed to do it over and over again. <laughs> like, Rocks. what the shit is going on here? They're up to four war exhaustion now. They still have no revolt risk because they still have the Mandate of Heaven, but... At this rate, that's going to change pretty quickly. That's why I'm just sitting here waiting. So, apparently your troops are awesome. Just so you know. <laughs> Let's compare our troops, Kaden. Okay. Uh, my infantry are currently... One shock, one morale. Yours? My infantry. Yeah. Like, infantry fire. Inf infantry fire, shock, and morale. Okay, uh, infantry fire, 0.25. No, no, no. It show your units. Oh, okay, okay. This, on the, in the military screen, you can, like, choose your unit. Yeah. Um, zero fire, one shock. One morale. All right, so we've equal infantry. What about your cavalry? This is probably where you shine. Yeah. Um. My cav two. Uh, or zero two two. Ah, so you you have one more shock than us on the cavalry. That's it. Uh, that's I guess that's all it takes. Plus, you guys can have an army consisting entirely of cavalry, can't you? Uh. Let me check that. Select an army and put it over the cavalry. It's like my armies are. Yeah, you can have one hundred percent. Yeah, like that, that's all you need to do to win is cavalry. Jeez. What? Hmm. The worst part is I'm tempted. I'm just so tempted to tech up my admin, but I know if I do, I'm gonna be walking into a war where I'll be at minus three stability with Ming. That's just stupid. Like, I know there's no way of coming out of that. I've almost got 190 relations with date. Soon. Is, have you managed to annex anyone yet? No. Who are you trying to annex? Date. That's it? Well, I was trying to annex Yamoto, or whoever that belonged to, but they kind of got destroyed. <laughs> yeah, that can happen. Okay, so you know how I said Ming's manpower might... Who I was laughing about Ming's manpower running out. Yeah. yeah, the rate they're taking losses, I have to check the ledger, but there's no way they can sustain this. Like, I'm just watching a slaughter. Ming has 418 manpower left. I have 139. Hordes, yeah. I've got 12 grand. 12,000. 285, actually. 12,285. 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, Ming is out of manpower. And oh, there's gotta be a better way of doing this. It? What do you mean? Nothing. Annexing your vassals? No. Talking to Cali. <laughs> well, I think you can declare war on your vassals, can't you? I can. But all I have minus four is stability. Well, have you tried fabricating claims, perhaps? No, 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 no. I was talking about something entirely different. Oh. Like, like, I mean, this is going all right. I'm going to be getting half of Japan as it is. Yeah. The moment I, I annex date. Well, you have more than one diplomat, so you can more annex more than one person at a time. Yeah. Ooh, 10% trade efficiency. Suck on it. Ah. And I actually have a colonial range. The reason I'm really tempted to just add, invest in admin tech is because I could get, like, expansion or something and start colonizing, like, Taiwan and the Philippines. Hmm. I'll be right back. Ooh, we converted Wen Zhao. Religious unity of 31%. <gasps> you can believe it. Impossible. Yeah, no kidding. I need, like, national manpower modifier recovery. <laughs> Don't you just get a hard bonus to your manpower? Yeah. I get a monthly regain plus 50%. And cost to reduce an ore josh from minus 15. That seems like a shitty deal. Should be like 50. <laughs> hmm. I got a claim on Kashmir. Are you allied, sir? Allied with Jennifer. Water Free Farm. province? You say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised the Timurids haven't eaten them. <laughs> I know. They have a claim, too. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, get... Ming is down to 12 dudes. 12 dudes. Uh, how does that work, Josh, into there is doing? 6.7. <laughs> I think they've reduced it a couple times, too. Yeah, um... This is some impressive shit. Gotta say. If I ever want to convert these Sunni provinces, I have to get a missionary strength guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. or Inquisitor. go down the religious path. Yuck. It's not very good. Well, um, what I well, there isn't. Uh, uh somewhere decisions go. You get monastic education as well if you can get a theologian, which is one of those guys that reduces national <laughs> revolt risk. It's 5% tax or 1% missionary strength, since we're both Buddhists. I know you have that. <laughs> yeah, but I have to play, pay 139 for the, the theologian that's available right now. At least it's a level 3. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Not worth. No, I, I'm considering actually just... Um, you know what? Uh, that might not be bad. You know what? I'm actually going to do that, yeah. I'm going to swap out my missionary guy for a theologian. Specifically so I can pass monastic education. And then I'm just going to swap them back. <laughs> Poor government losses. You know what? I can care less if I'm at negative stability right now. It doesn't really matter. Because I'm going to be going down to negative three soon enough anyway. Alright. So, let's see. Converting something. Hainan, only 27. Sure. Alright. So, yeah. Uh, Korea. Uh, Ming is up to 7.22 war exhaustion. 
<laughs> and oop, it just expended it down to 1.12. Oh. oh, there's peace made, that's why. Pause, pause.